everyone, welcome back to The List. Layering up, that's the simple way to explain 3D printing. The high-tech process continues to grow in popularity. Larissa Wall goes high-tech around San Diego. 3D at number one. This is actually a full moving part. A watch made by a printer? That's crazy. Well, two friends, Bennett Berger and David Feeney, created SD3D, high-tech magic. I was shocked at how light Yes. These things are. Customers submit a 3D scan and a high-end printer does the rest, melting the plastic and bringing it to life one extremely thin layer at a time. There you go. And it just comes off in one piece. The jobs vary and demand has grown fast in just three years. So we started with one printer, we onboarded another printer, another printer, another printer, and now we're up to over a dozen printers in house. Printers range from a few hundred bucks to tens of thousands. One small item printed, about 20 bucks. SD3D teaches classes too. Go to thelisttv.com. Contemporary at number two. The art gallery at San Diego Mesa College features professional artists each month. The current exhibition displays outside the box uses of ceramic material titled Reshaping the 2%. The title comes from the fact that only 2% of mined clay is used for art purposes. The ceramic in this piece was the porcelain chalk used on the blackboard. The artist who made this flowery Darth Vader mask calls it Luke, I'm your mother. You can see the show through February. The gallery is free and it's open Monday through Thursday. Party time at number three. Dogs love Mardi Gras, or so we assume. Helen Woodward Center is throwing Doggy Gras tomorrow at 11.30 with dogs that are up for adoption. Wait a minute, that's either a realistic costume or two somebody sneaked in. Now you're caught up and clued in around San Diego.